Hi there, folks, and thanks for joining us for our third part in this wonderful three-part series, Overcoming Overwhelming Obstacles. And we're on part number three, which I think is just as critically important as the first two parts. And part number three is overcoming yourself. Look at the person next to you if you're sitting next to somebody and say, get over yourself. My friends, overcoming ourselves is probably one of the most difficult things that we could do in our journey to success and greatness, certainly that we are destined for and absolutely what it is you should be walking in. But the question becomes, what's standing in your way? What is stopping you from achieving the greatness that you so richly deserve? And I would submit to you that it's probably yourself. You know, one of the biggest obstacles I faced in my own life is overcoming Elvin Dowling. You know, overcoming my own sense of inadequacy, overcoming my own fears, overcoming my own failures, overcoming my own problems in order to achieve the greatness in which I'm so destined for and which each and every one of you is destined to step into and destined to fulfill. So how do you do that? How do you begin by overcoming yourself? Well, first, my friends, I think that you've got to begin by learning to trust yourself. Look at the person next to you and say, trust yourself. My friends, I, I heard someone say once that trust is being able to go to sleep when someone else is driving. You know, when I heard that, it immediately clicked for me because I completely understood it. You see, I've been in a number of car accidents, and fortunately, none of them were of a life-threatening nature, but it's been enough to shake me up a little bit. And as a result of it, I'm very reticent in terms of getting in a vehicle with someone, and certainly, I do not go to sleep. I just don't do it. You know, so when I heard you know, the saying trust is being able to go to sleep when someone else is driving, that completely resonated with me. And it resonated with me because I completely understood that if I was going to be able to overcome my fear, frankly, of losing my own life by the hands of a poor driver, which was not me, then I would certainly do so with my eyes open. It kind of reminds me uh, of the old joke I heard once that said, you know, when I die, I want to go like my grandfather, peaceful in his sleep, not the passengers in his car who were screaming until they died. You know, so, so I understood when, when they said that trust is being able to go to sleep when someone else is driving. That means that you've got to begin, my friends, if you want to overcome yourself, if you want to overcome your own personal challenges that are standing in your way, then you've got to begin by first learning how to trust yourself. 